Hey everybody, my name is Patrick. I am a husband, a dad, and a human living in New York City. And on this channel, we talk about all of it. And today, we're talking about how you can get more people to view your videos using time codes. Stay with me. Hey Google, pause. So if you're a creator like me, especially on YouTube, you know that the creative process is ongoing and you have poured yourself into creating a beautiful video with beautiful transitions, with amazing color correction and maybe a little bit of humor and you're ready to upload that video. But if you think you're done, you should probably think again. There's always another step you can take to get more people to your video easier. You can create blog posts surrounding your video that people will click on. Pinterest boards that people will view and click on. You can create a social media presence on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. But one of the easiest things you can do to get people to your videos is by creating time codes. Now time codes aren't fancy and they're not difficult to implement, but they are extremely helpful. What are time codes? If you have been watching YouTube videos for a while now, you've obviously seen time codes. But let me show you what I'm talking about. And we're gonna use this amazing channel I found to show you a perfect example of time codes. So here's one of my videos. It's a video called My Everyday Carry, What's in My Bag 2022. Great title. There's a lot of information in that title that people can you know, kind of come to to be able to find what they're looking for. But you'll notice that at the bottom of my YouTube video, just like every other YouTube video, there's a progress bar. You can see here that my timeline is different. You can see that it says iPad Pro. It says Samsung uh, spelled incorrectly. I'll fix that later. Samsung uh, SSD T5 and T7. You see all these sections in my video. So these are time codes. And, and why did I add them to my video? Well, I'll tell you why. Number one, time codes keep people watching. What do I mean by that? A lot of time people will search YouTube for a specific answer to a question that they have. And when they find the video that has a title that might answer their question and they click on that video and they see that that video is 15 or 20 minutes long, but it's just one progress bar with no time codes whatsoever, they have to scrub through it to find the answer to their specific question or they have to wait through the entire video. And sometimes it causes frustration and they click away. You might think that adding time codes will make people watch less of your videos. And in some cases that's true. They they click on your video, they watch the specific question, answer that they're looking for. Wait, they watch the specific section that has the answer to the question that they're looking to get answered. But a lot of times this actually keeps the viewer involved because they can see all these sections that they can move through and sometimes they find answers to questions they didn't even know they had. So it keeps people viewing. The second benefit that time codes gives you is it makes your videos more searchable. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I own my own IT business where I go all over the city and I help people with small and large technical problems. It's been a fun business that I've been able to run for many years. But running an IT business, there's sometimes questions I get asked that I need to find the answers for. I don't know everything. Can you imagine? I know, shocking. But when I want to find those answers, what do I do? I search on Google. So one thing I had to learn pretty early on is how to create ethernet cables. Yes, I know I can go to Amazon and buy specific lengths of ethernet cables, but sometimes when you're on a big job and you need a huge amount of cable, it just makes more sense to buy in bulk and create your own cable. So I would Google how to terminate ether, let's spell it right, ethernet cable. And look what happens. Not only do I see a bunch of search results that are like articles and websites, I see a video right here. But this video that Google's showing me, it's actually highlighting a specific section of that video. I wonder why. If I click on the video, it opens up in a new window. And notice what this video has. This video has time codes. And the time code it has brought me to is the section where he is specifically about to, if I'm correct, yeah, cut and create the actual ethernet cable, the actual cat six, cat five, all the cats. That's what I say to you. Cable. So what we learn here is that 
Google is not just searching for YouTube titles when it is trying to find answers to people's questions. It is pouring through YouTube, all that little metadata, and finding the time codes you have created. And one of those time codes might be a very specific answer to a question someone has. So time codes is giving you two major benefits. One, it's keeping your viewers around longer, and two, it's making your videos more accessible through Google. So how do we even create these time codes? You're sold. You want to add time codes to your videos. Well, you might think that this happens in DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro. It doesn't. YouTube Studio is where you go to create all your time codes, and I'm going to show you how I do that right now. So I have a video here that's all about Final Cut Pro organization, which is a pretty vast topic. And I realized that I didn't add time codes to it. And it's a 20 minute video. And a lot of people will find this video out of frustration. They're going, oh, my organization is all out of whack. I, know, I need to know how to fix this one small issue. They come to this video, they see that it's 20 minutes, and they're probably not going to stick around an entire 20 minutes to try to hopefully find the answer to their question. They're gonna to come to a video that has well laid out time codes that specifically lists out the answer to their question and then maybe watch the rest of the video as well. So here's how I create time codes for my videos. Number one, once the video is edited and published and on YouTube, I just go right ahead and watch the video. Now I could watch the video in Final Cut before I publish it and create my time codes there and while it's uploading, already have them in the description. But for right now, I've found a video that already has been published that needs them. So we're just using this as an example. So I open up my notes app. I create a note called, um, Time codes, uh, final cut organization. So I've put the title of the video in here and I am ready to uh, create time codes for this video. I hit enter a couple of times and I essentially watch the video and when I find a section of the video that I want to create a time code out of, I put in the time like one colon 23, a minute and 23 seconds, space dash space and I put, um, uh, uh, final cut do's and don'ts. Now that's just an example of how you create a time code. One very important thing you need to know is that you have to start all of your time codes, your list of time codes with zero colon zero zero. Now right beside this, I like to just put intro. And when we add all of our time codes to the description of our YouTube video, YouTube is going to look for that zero colon zero zero as like a code to say, oh, this is where the time codes start. So I put zero colon zero zero dash intro. And let's just go ahead and push play. Patrick, and I've been using Max for many now I'm still in my intro and I just want to show you a couple of examples of how these time codes work. I'm not going to make you watch this entire 20 minute video with me. So I'm just going to scrub through here to about, I don't know, once, two minutes or so. The Final Cut interface. Everybody wants to know how to use Final Cut, right? So I just open my note back up and I type in, where are we at? One colon 29 dash the Final Cut application explain. Now you tell me, how many people are on YouTube right now or on Google right now searching for uh, Final Cut explanation. Will this time code pop up for them? I mean, it's highly likely. So I like to phrase these time codes as if I was searching for this specific thing. Let's keep uh, watching our video. Oh, here I am talking about the Samsung T7 drive where I store all of my videos. So right at three colon 20, three minutes, 20 seconds, um, storage solutions, Oh, let's spell storage right for Final Cut Pro. And then in parentheses, Samsung T7. Okay, let's do one more. Oh, I'm creating folders. So right here at five colon 46, five minutes, 46 seconds, I'm going to create a uh, how to create a folder on a Mac. So you see what I'm doing? People are searching for these things on Google and on YouTube, and I am helping them find answers to their questions by creating time codes for my video. So let's say I have moved through my entire video, I've created all the time codes that I need. How do I get them to appear in my YouTube video timeline? Well, let's go back to YouTube Studio and add these time codes to our video description. That's all we have to do. So I select all of this text, 
Remember, you must start with that 0, 0, 0 intro or whatever you want to title it, but you have to start with 0, 0, 0. Command C or edit uh, copy. And then in the video details, I just click anywhere I want and command V or edit paste. So I've just created time codes. Now, one thing I like to do is right above the first time code, just write a time codes title so that people can see it when they click on the video description of my YouTube videos. And I'm just gonna click save. So you might be thinking to yourself, how long does it take for these time codes to populate into your description or onto your YouTube video timeline? Well, I'm gonna show you. I've already clicked save. I'm gonna go back to my video on YouTube. I'm gonna reload the page. And as you can see, once it's reloaded, it takes seconds. The time codes are already here. Not only are they in the timeline, but if I scroll down to the video description and click on show more, they're actually clickable in this video description. So any viewer that's coming to my video is going to see specific answers to questions. They're gonna find out information that they didn't even know they cared about, and they're going to be able to move through my video easier, and I'm going to retain them as viewers easier, and Google is going to be able to show people search results using my video easier. So there it is, guys. Time codes are a huge help to any YouTuber out there that is creating content that they want people to see. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, comment down below, let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next one.